It's the Green Party of the United States. We will refuse to proceed from the politics of fear and scarcity. It isn't just about getting America back on track. It's also about getting our relationship with the global world back. The politics of courage. Feminism is a key value, vote Green Party. And young women have been pretty excited about about that that aspect of the campaign. I think our campaign has generated an influx of younger volunteers and activists into the Green Party. We have a new campus chapter. We students, we get the issues. You know, these are not philosophical debates for us. We are not, uh, as are commonly called, youngsters with our head in the air. You know, if we don't do something now, our future is gone. This is the tipping point. Whether we accept a future of servitude to corporate profits with no freedom of our own to pursue our hopes and dreams, or we draw on the line in the sand now, because we know enough is enough. We must continue. We must be the future. We must put our differences aside, work on the common ground, and move to make sure that we save life as we know it today. We now suffer from the worst economic equality ever. Six million families have lost their homes. We spend more on building prisons than educating our children. The disabled and immigrants, youth and our elders have been told loud and clear from our elected officials that they just don't matter. But you see, they do matter. We will no longer sit by and watch as family members are deported. We are the new and unsettling force that Dr. Martin Luther King spoke of. It is our duty those of us who confess the stand up for environmental peace and justice. To not only network among ourselves, but to reach out globally. To work with green organizations no matter where they are. Because we are the only global political organization and we must stand by it and let the world know that we exist. Let them know that we're going to work with the African Greens, that we're going to work with the Asian Greens, that we will be in Central America, that we will be in South America, that we will be in the Caribbean. And together we're going to come up with the solutions. You win by building a movement, a movement with an electoral arm. The Democrats failed to be the electoral arm of a progressive, pro-labor, pro-student movement. That's why I'm here, because this is that party. Woo!